Hello everybody, it is your boy Toonplays here, back in video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, so today, my theme of the day is an inmate, you know, that's, I mean, this doesn't fit me, I don't even know what this is from, but I'm an inmate today, so yeah. Welcome to Halloween, I hope you guys are all having a good one. Um, so today in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a proximity prong, um hat and clothes giver kind of as a tycoon morph now i did make another tutorial on how to make morphs a long time ago i may be renovating that so you can actually learn but there's a lot of tutorials out there but i want to specifically do a proximity plump for hat and clothes because um it's really nice and easy to easier to use but um i made a model for you guys and we're gonna quickly hop into this now if you're new to my channel forget that subscribe button on terms post notifications it means so much to me everybody um and uh yeah so feel free to do that and if you want also you can join the discord in the description uh, we're doing a giveaway very soon here as well but um yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the last video of the proximity prompt gear giver definitely go watch it because i was being spider-man and that shit did not turn out well um but <laughs> so you're gonna go to your, you're gonna go to the description you're gonna click the model and you'll be able to claim or download it so make sure to do that um and once you do this you're gonna get this model right here and it's going to look like this now you're probably like i probably wondering you know twin this is kind of from the toolbox um it kind of is yes for sure um but i did you know modify it just a bit now um only really for the uh shirt and pants um and the hat giver i'm gonna kind of explain to you guys now in my other tycoon that i'm currently making i actually made a really cool way of like doing it as a like lego ninjago character um and there's a lot of cool things you really can do with this um and i, I mean it. it's really cool so I'm, I'm just gonna just hit play here and i'm gonna show you real quick how this works now um if you guys want, you can skip to the tutorial part, your choice. But we have a little hat remover, so it's just going to get rid of my hats. Um, and this right here is, oh, this says Kai's uniform, yeah. So it's going to give me a shirt and pants. As you can tell, I got I got changed shirt and pants, something really cool and easy. And then we have a hat, and it's going to give me the hat. So it's, it's really cool how this works. Now, um, if you really want to uh, customize this and do anything you really want with this, it's really um, easy and simple to use. Um, so the hat remover, you can get rid of this if you want, but you can just hit Control U and it has everything in it for you. So uniform stand, hat remover, everything easy. Hat remover, I'll just simply go over real quick. It just basically, um, I didn't do this. This is way formatted wrong, but um, basically, yeah, this should be how it's formatted, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, basically, when a person touches this, it's going to get rid of any accessories on them. So basically something simple like that. Um, then we have the uniform stand. Now the uniform stand is a little different. Um, don't mind this executive bar. I should have just got rid of that, but I didn't. Um, we have the dummy, the stand, and the click bar. Now the click bar is actually the proximity prompt, so nothing too crazy, but it's actually going to be right here for you. And in the proximity prompt, you have a few things. You can do where, you can do like the object text. I'm going to say, you know, police uniform. Um, so you can wear the police uniform and um, you can do activation distance, keyboard stuff, hold duration, anything like that. If you want to learn more about that, it's all on Google. Um, but right here we have the main script. Now, to customize this yourself, you only need to do two things. You just need to change the pants and the shirt. So I'm actually just going to search up uniform right now and I'm just going to like, you know, find one on Google, whatever, let's say so police uniform. Um, I think I actually did use that last one, but see how they're all kind of the same, but this one you can just change and mess around like if you want stand wise. Um, but so I'm gonna go in the coat hanger. See how there's these pants and shirts? I'm gonna control C these guys, okay? And I'm just gonna delete that. And see how there are pants and shirts in here? I'm just gonna delete them. And then I'm actually gonna paste it back into here. So now that we have that, basically we're done. Um, what's gonna happen in the script is we're gonna get the pants and shirt. And when the proximity gets triggered, as in saying one person clicks the prompt or, you know, triggers it, we're going to find the character of the player. And if we find the character, we're going to go into the pants and the shirts and we're going to destroy it. And then what we're going to do is we are going to clone the pants and the shirt, as in saying clone this one, onto our character. Now, there's a lot of things about this. Now, there was two ways you could do this. Like, you're probably like, why would you destroy the shirt and pants? Why didn't you just change the ID? Well, that's because Roblox is kind of weird with this. They don't allow you to, like, change IDs from the catalog. You have to either have it in the game or I kind of talked about this in my last one about the... Uh, 
sorry guys i talked about this in the last one about the pants and uh shirt command so that's kind of the whole point of this um but yeah so it's basically this is a script super simple it's just going to change that for you now if you wanted like a cafe uniform see this is my whole point is you can literally do this stuff in a game like you could literally just copy my models put it into any game um, and it works really easy now if you want to put this into a tycoon you're going to make sure you put it under your purchases folder so by that i mean you're going to make sure you put it under the folder that says purchases you're going to create a button for it make sure the dependency and the button Button name and everything it matches perfectly um, and you're basically gonna have it ready for you now I just wanted to give you the main details of it not really how to put this into tycoon because you should already know how to do that by just using your skills and your knowledge um, and it's super easy guys it's all my other tutorials uh, I hope you do understand that if you don't just comment I'll help you there easily so this part's a little different now you can do a lot of cool stuff with this so if I honestly wanted to search up armor real quick we're gonna do something kind of cool um, we're gonna do, let's look at this armor real quick. Okay, so this one is kind of cool. All right, this is actually a cool example, but I think R15 maybe. Um, this is armor giver. Uh, you know what, this is perfect. Yes, something like this. So the whole reason of this now, I mean, you know, well, let's let's do a hat. Let's do a hat first. The armor's a little weird because this doesn't, this doesn't anchor to your body. It actually, anchors just to a part um so if i were to look at this headstand so i'm going to look at the proximity hat giver and we're going to explain this real quick so it's going to create a few welds and it's going to weld it to the character's um head which is the torso for now um so basically how this is going to work this is actually a hat giver this isn't a body armor giver now what you could do is if you have like an armor that you want to be on your back you can just like i'm gonna just show you real quick this is kind of weird of doing it but you can just go like this so let's say you wanted this to be on the player's head so just keep the head there for reference that's the whole point of the head it gets deleted itself let's say we wanted this little part that just hangs out i'm just gonna do that for you guys we're gonna make sure anchors off cam glide will be off just because we want to do that and i'm gonna set this to red i'll set like a like a force field kind of color maybe even if i want i can just like do something funny like this like just something really stupid and weird um this is the whole point of this so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna actually put this into here cap see how it just has textures don't even worry about it you can just delete it um and this is the part now now let's say you wanted just a normal hat you know just find a hat you'd like um and i'm gonna put this down here now see it's a little big but don't worry oh wait no i think that's like the perfect hat size yeah i'm just being dumb so as you can tell that's what it's gonna look like so we got the military for it we're gonna put this into here proximity prompt right here and you just want the handle so get rid of this little thing right there and make sure we got here you can just get rid of these little stuff um handle make sure anchor it's off can collides off perfect and we are going to test that out so basically what we do is we create we create weld parts it's a weld part function we're going to go into the weld into the parts and we're going to create some welds and we are going to anchor it to that part that it's connected to which is the head so we're basically creating a, cl a clone of it and we're setting this primary c part frame as in saying like all of this is going to be in the in the head c frame like what it is and it's going to be to that player so that's kind of the whole point of this now i was making my little ninjago thing and i had armor and it looks a little weird because it's not it's anchored to the head it's not anchored to the body so if you really want to make a want me to make i'll make a tutorial soon here probably on how to make like an armor like full-on morph then i will but as you can tell, this has the head brat, I mean hat, um, and this is the whole example. So yeah, so it's it's really nice. So you know, if you hit hat remover, it's not gonna remove it because it's not an accessory, it's just a part onto the body. And by this I mean literally you could go in here, you see how it says proximity hat giver. Um, that's that's basically what it is. So we have the handle, and um, that's how it's just anchored to your head. And you know, if I wanted to move it, I could, but it'd fall off like that. So super simple, kind of like that. I'll do it again. Um, this just took it off. Uh, if I do it one more time, it, uh, you know, puts it back on. So, um, if you do want to make it, so it says wear and take off, you can actually just go into the script and I'll add that for you guys. Um, you can go into here and you can say, uh, uh, proximity prompt dot action text equals take off. And it will basically take it off for you after you do it again. Um, I don't know why exactly this part didn't just stay to it. Um, I think it has to do with the fact that it was um, totally colliding with it. So something like that is better. Um, 
but you know just just you understand the little basic part of it so this is just kind of a uniform way of teaching it but hope you enjoyed this little tutorial um i'll be making a better one on how to do an actual morph um i have made them in the past and there's a little more tutorials on youtube i just thought this was a little more better because um there is not as much tutorials on this so hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one bye everyone happy halloween